planners and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well, as always, before I go any further, I want to be sure and thank all my patrons who support me on Patreon and make it possible to create videos like this. Well, thank you guys so much, and if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organizedplannerschic. Okay, you guys, I did some really fun DIYs for my Hobonichi Weeks. I am so excited to show you guys how easy they are and how fun they are. All right, let's get inside. Okay. So the first one I want to show you, super fun. And I'll just pull that out and move this over. Well, no, yeah, I'll move this over a little bit to make sure you get a really good view of it. And so this is just a uh, writing board. And the way that I did this was I took, and you're just gonna be like, I'm making noise because I'm getting the supplies, but you're gonna be like, oh man, I could have done that. <laughs> you can, it's so easy. So I just took a box, a cardboard box that used to have saltine crackers in it. And then I measured out with my ruler. So there's another piece of supplies and a pencil. This space right here, cause it was the perfect thickness for I wanted. I didn't want it to be too thick to make everything even more bulky. And I didn't want it to be too thin and flimsy, but this is the perfect thickness. And so I just measured out the size that I thought I would want that to be, which is that right there. And then I took my move you out the way and then I think I used I might have used my well yeah because this wouldn't have fit so well to use my um, paper trimmer I think this time I probably used my scissors so if you have a big enough paper trimmer I think mine might have been but uh, in any case you can always use your scissors to cut that out and so then after I cut that out I just took um, some adhesive to adhere so I took oh no that's not what I did next so after I did that then I took that piece of cardboard that I had just pulled out or had just cut out of the box and then I traced that around the paper so this design move that so you can see better this came straight out of a piece of junk mail well I guess it wasn't junk mail it was for a membership that we have for a uh, horticulture type garden it's the botanical desert Bot botanical garden and it had some really nice prints in there and I accidentally did this one upside down but that's fine who says you can't have a bow at the bottom and so I just took that piece of cardboard that I had cut out of the box traced it around the two different prints that I liked that came from the mail from the botanical gardens and then I had to, had to adhere that of course so I wanted to make sure that it stayed on there really well. And I, when I look back now, I realize I really didn't have to make sure it was on there that well since I was going to be faux laminating it, but I did. <laughs> so you can just take a little bit of glue, um, glue stick or some adhesive squares or something. I used some really good, terrifically tacky tape, but I didn't need to do that. And so then I just put those on here. And then it was too thick really for my laminator to do a good job so I just took some regular clear tape and I made it laminated it that way and you can't see it barely I'm not sure if you can at all on camera that this side where you can see it the layer of tape on there because it wasn't wide enough to just do one swoop of tape you think you can see it a little bit better on this side but in any case I just had the extra tape and trimmed around it and then I took a hole punch just like this cheap one dollar store hole punch and punched the hole there and then I had I always keep my little scraps of ribbon so if you're like me if you get anything in a package that you know <laughs> that you could use um, you save it so anytime I get a gift or I buy something that happens to have a piece of ribbon on it or whatever I keep those for projects like this so I just tied ribbon on it 
And then just to save the end of the ribbon so that it wouldn't fray, I used um, the lighter, you know, barbecue lighter to on the ends. And it looks great, I think. I really, really like it. So I'm gonna pull this, these supplies out of the way so that we can look at it a little bit better. And I think it looks so cute and so fun. I wish it wasn't upside down, but I, I can live with that. <laughs> okay, so, and it fits perfectly right here in the pocket, but I'm going to hold it for now. Well, no, let me put it back in the pocket and then I'll just kind of position it behind like I'm gonna write something in a little bit. Okay, now this one, I'll do this one last because not everyone is gonna need something like that, but here is the other one which i think is super fun so yeah now i'm gonna go ahead and put this behind uh the current month like i'm getting ready to write something and i will i'll just draw like a heart or something okay so let's just uh draw a little yellow heart and see how fun that is for this board and it makes writing so much easier of course you can't hardly see this yellow heart but that's okay oh i don't know if you could hear me i was like i can't hardly see this little yellow heart but that's okay i know it's there <laughs> okay all right now let's put you back we don't need you right now i might need you in a minute but i don't need you right now i'm not going to do any writing Let's get to what we were supposed to be talking about. This. Okay, so let me get the other one that was my inspiration from Caden's Mom Plans. Is it Caden's Mom Plans or Caden's Mom Shops? I'll put it across the screen. I always can't remember because on Instagram, she's Caden, she's one, and on Etsy, she's the other one. So Caden's Mom Plans and Caden's Mom Shops. So this is her um, kind of marker board for the current week which is super cute yes that is super cute i love this i think it is just adorable and girly and pink and i i love it so that was my inspiration but i wanted one for this month so i can mark my current month page and let me tell you how easy to do this so isn't this cute isn't that cute? Let me show you how easy it is to make that. And see, it's just like hers where it's clear and you can see what you're doing. And it's got some ribbon on it like the other one. Okay, so let me tell you how easy that is. Ta-da! So <laughs> let's move you out the way. That is where this came from. So, you know, if you ever buy cosmetic um, products, they tend to come in these little plastic packages. And I have been saving these for, oh, I don't know, probably a couple of years going, I'm going to make something with that one day. That is too good. I want to reuse that plastic. I don't know what. Then I'd say I'm going to do a bookmark, but I like magnetic bookmarks because these just fall out of the book. And so uh, I hadn't made anything until this idea, which is so awesome. So all I did was I took out this piece of paper you know that's in here I just took that out and I just traced it over some scrap paper which I had more of this but I've used it now I just traced it over the scrap paper just like it is and then uh, with the pencil and everything then I cut it out with the scissors on the outside and then I measured with my ruler with the space that I wanted in here and then I just took my X-Acto knife, yeah, my X-Acto knife and cut that out. Now, if you don't have an X-Acto knife, you can just kind of punch a hole in this and count, cut around with the scissors, but it won't definitely won't be as precise. Um, but that's what I use to cut it out, and of course, on my cutting mat board. Don't cut through your good stuff or your table or anything like that. Try, if you're going to use an X-Acto knife, use a cutting mat. And so, and then all I had to do was take this oh I also used some Tombow dual brush brush markers and a um, Tombow writing pen or drawing pen to put the this month on each side and this happened to be two-sided paper 
and then um, I just put it back inside of here I didn't have to punch a hole because there was a hole there already see how perfect that is and then I just did the ribbon ribbon just like I did the other ribbon yeah and so it just goes right in here as this month and it looks so cute in there doesn't it so you guys here was a, a good look that I think that was a good or not a good look I'm gonna give you a good look of my October setup because I hadn't done that yet and my previous plan with me so that's how it looks I think it's pretty and then we'll put you back because you are the current month and then this week with my pretty bookmark page marker that I already had that's how the current week or not the current week this is the week that's coming up okay so that's how that is set up and then of course I did a plan with me on this which actually is the current week and then the last thing is my wallet is set up in the front of this and this is a Walmart traveler's notebook and I just wanted something to kind of separate the wallet part so that when I'm kind of sharing, when I'm doing YouTube videos, I don't have to remember to cover up stuff that's over here on the wallet side. Uh, if I'm just kind of sharing with someone my pages in here or planning something, writing stuff down in my calendar at appointments, and I don't want people to see my wallet stuff, then I just made this. So I did put some colored papers, pages in my little pouch or zipper pouch and money pouch uh, section so that helps uh, but sometimes when you're flipping through stuff you just catch your hand on stuff so I just took a scrap of leftover paper that I had and laminated it and it's two-sided and it's because it fits the color theme of my Hobonichi and I thought it would be fun and so that way I don't have to remember to block anything off it's just already secured and I just took a piece of elastic that came from um, a traveler's an old traveler's notebook that I saved because y'all know I save stuff <laughs> you never know when you might need it and then that just takes care of that all right you guys well that is it for today's giveaway I mean I giveaways today's DIYs I hope you like them I had so much fun making them and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already all of my subscribers get an additional discount from my organized planner chic Etsy shop and that discount is in the description below and also check me out on Instagram at organized planner chic where I do or where I post lots of colorful pictures of my fun creative ventures and adventures also I have a Facebook group called organized planner chic crew where we do frequent giveaways and gift exchanges and birthday exchanges and also um, I have a business page called The Organized Planner Chic, but the group is Organized Planner Chic Crew. And then if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. And until next time, happy planning.